Hi, Linda Bowne here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday and Fancy Fold, and I am getting excited for the release of our new mini catalog starting this Thursday, January 5th, 2023. And part of that catalog is a wonderful uh, sweet collection. It is called the uh, Fancy Floral uh, Collection. And I am featuring that collection, a uh, sweet collection, as my customer appreciation tutorial this month. It has two bundles with it beautiful 6x6 six six designer series paper and this card um, is not part of my tutorial but I wanted to share um, this beautiful suite with you. I'm going to be doing an explosion card. I have not done an explosion card for a really long time. I first used the Something Fancy bundle and stamped my different labels from that set. I then used the two-tone floral bundle and stamped my flowers. Calypso Coral, don't use that color a lot, but I love um, the boldness of it. I only used one ink pad. I took the solid, stamped, inked it, and then stamped off, then stamped the veins inside. I've also taken two pieces of two and three quarter by two and three quarter and have stamped around the edges and a crossed diagonal from there. Then what I have is the 6x6 six six paper. Love this paper. Very um, pretty watercolor design on one page and a more pastel color on the other. Now I've already folded this. I folded at a diagonal both ways. And then I folded down the middle of the paper in half and half again. So diagonal both ways, in half both ways. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to fold these in, in these two ends to make a square like so. And this is going to go on the inside of my card. So I'm going to take my adhesives and I want a, a strong adhesive, so I'm using the Stamp and Seal Plus, and I'm going to put it right in the center of my card, like so. And then I'm going to close that center down, press hard to get the adhesive to stick, and then I'm going to open it up and put the adhesive on the other side. I find that the easiest way to adhere this explosion card into the center of my card. So just going to leave that closed and then close the center like so. Next what I'm going to do is to take those vanilla pieces that I have already stamped. Again, this is the very vanilla and we are going to put that on the inside of our card. This gave it, gives us some room to write. So put that down there. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my flower and kind of break those fibers on that. I'm going to grab some dimensionals and adhere that flower to the top part of my card like so. And I think I like that flower more down like this. I'm going to see if I can find real quick a wink of Stella so I can add some shimmer to that card. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab blue dots and add the leaves under my card. I have one I'm going to add. Oops, didn't stick very well. I don't think I got my glue dot. Let's try this again. We want to make sure that we stay within the triangle when we're putting those leaves on. So let's grab this one so that our card will 
close properly. Put those leaves right there. Going to add my happy birthday. Going to use my small dimensionals for that. And just place that along the bottom of my card. And then I'm going to use the words grateful for you every day mad yeah grateful for the everyday magic of you and I'm going to just put that up at the top again no need for stamping with this beautiful designer series paper and there you have a fun fancy fold an explosion card using the brand new a sweet collection that you'll find in the mini catalog. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would like catalogs, make sure you contact me and I will get you some catalogs out. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.